Daniel just tried selling custom shirts on Etsy and he actually did worse than he thought. Let me, an Etsy coach, cover what he did wrong and the things he did right. Who's Daniel? Daniel Inskeep is a YouTuber. I've been watching for quite some time now. He calls himself an anti-guru and tries all the get-rich-quick online schemes. So, of course, he was going to try selling print-on-demand on Etsy. He's done print-on-demand before, in fact. I deemed that last attempt a failure. But over Christmas, he tried again with a totally new store. Tell them what you're going to do different this time, Daniel. First, for my print-on-demand platform, I'm going to use Printify. Okay, well, Printify is one of the most popular. They integrate with Etsy. Tons of items and loads of people are using them. Second, I'll be selling on Etsy. Selling on Etsy instead of setting up a website. For most new sellers, this is smart. For all the horror stories there are about Etsy, running your own website and driving all your own traffic and all the other things that come with online sales can be a way bigger nightmare than Etsy. Daniel has more experience than most in this, but even he figured Etsy was a good choice. I'm going to offer custom designs and my niche, pet owners. I love the idea of custom designs. Good custom designs. People say Etsy's too saturated, but honestly, the more you step away from doing exactly what everyone else is doing, then the more you stand out from the crowd. Not enough people are doing good custom designed print on demand and having a great specific niche. Trying to be the gift shop for everyone makes you meh for everyone. A shop for dog lovers is much more specific, while it's actually still a massive niche. But starting at the start of November and thinking this is the perfect time. I'm hoping one of my shirts will make the perfect gift for someone going into Christmas. Honestly, to hit the Christmas rush, it's a little late. Most of the competition has already been picking up the early sales, so their listing quality scores are way, way better. It's going to be hard to show up in search to get much traffic from people already on Etsy. Imagine he's going to have to bring in his own traffic. Also, by hosting my store on Etsy, I don't have any overhead costs. Yes, there were no overhead costs using Etsy, but since he's filmed this, this is changing in that it's going to cost you $15 to set up an Etsy store, but honestly, that is pretty small to set up a business. It would cost you more than that to set up most websites. I'm naming the shop after my first two dogs. I love the shop name, a story behind it that works well in the niche. Perfect. And nice, he saw a trend and adapted it for his designs. I think they're really cute. On the custom photo pet tag, I think customers are becoming smarter and realizing you don't have to buy things like this from Etsy. You can just get it done directly. If he's not adding any design aspects to add value to this, then it's going to be easier for them just to buy it direct. I could be wrong though. I guess it could be a great gift and it could be added as a bundle with the t-shirts. Ordering a sample is so important. You don't know how well your designs will print out and what the fabric's like. And if you have the physical items, then you can take your own photos and videos. The shirt does actually look cute. I love the vibe. It's almost like an 80s band t-shirt for your dog. And his dog is interacting with it in a great way to show the quality and to show that it's custom based on that pet. This scrappy new shop is a lot cheaper. Oh, don't make the USP. I'm cheaper than everyone else. I hate that as a strategy. The main reason new shops are not selling, it's not because they don't have sales. That's only a small factor. They're not selling because they're not seen. Because it's hard to rank for keywords people are searching for when you haven't got sales. Not because you haven't got sales, but because the sales build up your listing and shop quality score. So if people can't find you, they don't care if your prices are $15 to $20 cheaper than the competition. Other custom products as well is good and the single line drawings are cute, but I see a major issue here. He can't design these Im images himself, so he's relying on a stranger on Fiverr. If your prices are super low, then you're aiming to be a high volume shop. But this is an extra step that's going to take time. Compare the steps for a regular print-on-demand to this. And then if the customer has to approve the design, he has to go back to the artist and pay for tweaks potentially. This could get very expensive and time-consuming because with custom work, people often want changes. And what if the artist you're using takes a break or starts charging more or starts selling themselves on Etsy? 
It is a great idea making a separate listing for a cat as well, as cat owners won't be searching for dog things. Designing things on Canva and asking chat GPT for puns? Words on things is a massive minefield. If someone else has thought of it and are making sales, they could have trademarked it. I actually can't get the hang of trademark searches, but there are enough people creating these phrases on tees that if it's not trademarked yet, it probably soon will be. So what a surprise, ChatGPT doesn't often create anything new and original, so you do always have to check. Boosting the post means paying for Instagram adverts in this case. All the get rich quick people have been struggling to get rich quick lately because social media advertising has become very expensive. So let's see how he does. Oh, a breakdown of expenses. Numbo nerd here. Exciting. So he thinks he's making a profit of $6, but Etsy fees still haven't come off that yet. I just made a video about how much it costs to sell print on demand. So my profit calculator is just here still. Let's run his numbers. Assume he's covering the shipping costs and everything correctly. So actually, that's around $3.65 profit per, per shirt before advertising costs and everything else. So for what he's saying is 30 minutes designing, messaging the customer, putting every design manually into printif Printify, even when he's upped his prices, the profit would be $17.23, which sounds better. But honestly, when you factor in all that time, it's less than minimum wage. Getting chat GPT to write the descriptions? Oh, big red flag right off the bat. This shirt, it's a mug. Customers will spot that lack of attention to detail right off the bat, and you can just tell with the turn of phrase that Chatty had a hand in this. Not to mention that I'm seeing more and more people find the emoji to start every line really dates you as a millennial, which I guess is okay if that's your target audience. Budget for Instagram advertising of $150 to start. For everyone who complains about Etsy ads prices, yeah, this is even a low amount for Instagram advertising. But with that, he would need around 15 sales to break even with full priced items. I do agree custom is a good choice, but you have to factor in how much time everything will take to make. This will limit the amount of sales you can physically produce. And Etsy is a kind of boom and bust. With custom work, I've had times of 50 plus sales in an hour and also months of next to nothing. So processing times can be absolutely all over the place. He's not always going to be able to guarantee a turnaround time fast enough for last minute holiday shoppers. I like to see the breakdown of numbers, but like most people starting out with this, he's actually forgot quite a few expenses in this. He mentioned the Canva subscription and then three times hiring an artist from Fiverr and his Etsy fees. So I make the expenses to be $1,162, almost a hundred more dollars than he thought. $525 in the red. But yes, great point that building a business is hopefully something you invest in to grow over time. But you also have to have a handle on if it's sustainable by understanding the numbers. From the breakdown at the moment, it's not. He's not driving much traffic from Etsy, so I would really advise working on SEO and building up his shop organically, as Instagram adverts is not sustainable at those prices. This here video is already long enough. Would you like me to make a deep dive of the SEO on his shop and see if we can find some superstar keywords for him? I love the custom pet work. I'd really lean into individual breeds of dogs. He can make a few designs of certain popular breeds of dogs using royalty free images. And those listings could be to show his custom work, but also his standalone designs that he can sell many times. People into a breed love things about the breed. Anyway, I'll take it into next time if you want.